heroic music filled the air. Super Sally flew up to the volcano. Whoosh! Then she used her super strength to throw a boulder into it. Plop! <gasps> super Sally saved the day! Hooray! Again! Again? But I've already read it five times. Six times, please! All right. Sally thought she was a perfectly normal little mouseling. But then... Hi, Mum! Hi, Polly! Her sister came in. Look what we learnt in class today. Yay! <laughs> it's called a sea song. Isn't it such fun? Yeah! It's lovely. Now, if you'll excuse us, Polly and I were reading a book together. For the sixth time. <laughs> oh! That must be a really good book. <laughs> it's the best book ever. Super Sally. I love, 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 love it. What's it about, Polly? Super Sally has superpowers. She can fly. Whoosh! And she's super strong. Grr. And her favourite colour is pink. And her favourite food is cheese. Ah, just like me. I'm just like Super Sally. Ooh, maybe I have superpowers too. Maybe I'm... I'm Super Polly! <gasps> ah! Help! Super Polly to the rescue! <laughs> Super job, Super Polly. Just for that, you get to stay up late tonight and play with your dolls. Hooray! Earth to Polly. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Earth to Polly. <gasps> you mean Super Polly. This is a trumpet, Polly. You make it play music by buzzing air into it with your mouth. Then you push these buttons, called valves, to make music. Watch. That's really, really great. And now, here's what a trumpet fanfare sounds like. Um, not now, sweetheart. I have work to do. But I can record the fanfare on this music recorder and you can take that to the park. Yes, do that! Please! Got it. Listen. Why do you need to play a fanfare in the park anyway? I need to be outside when I fly. Or I'll bump my head on the ceiling. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, wait, no it doesn't. Did you say when you fly? I think I might have superpowers. Oh. Well, that's very exciting. Yes, bye. Bye. Let me know how it all goes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Angelina, somebody's got to answer the phone. Mum's busy today. Hello? It's Vicky. The grapevine dance. I can show you how to do it. Well, I can't come now, Vicky. Mum's working and I'm babysitting my little sister. I can look after Polly for a while, Angelina. Yes, Alice can be my babysitter. Vicky really needs my help, Mum. And I have work to do, Angelina. 
I have to finish sewing those curtains by this afternoon. I don't mind babysitting Polly, Mrs Mouseling. Thank you, Alice. That's very kind of you. <laughs> You're wobbling, Alice. <laughs> so are you. Whoa! Oof! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you two are having fun. Alice is the best babysitter. I'd better go, Angelina. My mum will be wondering where I am. Oh, no. Please don't go. Oh, I'll come back later, Polly. I promise. Thanks for your help today, Alice. Come back soon. Right. Now, what should we play, Polly? I'm going to find Mum. Mum's got to finish her work. Come on, we can play funny statues. Alice did much funnier statues than you, Angelina. We're going to do something very, very special, Polly. This is going to be Angelina and Polly's big day. Hooray! What are we going to do? First, we're going to spin like this. Whee! Alice spins faster than that. going to do on our big day, Angelina? <sighs> Let's go to the park. Hooray! We're going to the park. Hold on. I've got to tell Mum where we're going first. Mum, I'm taking Polly to the park. Lovely idea. Have fun together. We will. It's Angelina and Polly's big day! <laughs> if it's our big day, Angelina Ballerina, why are we just walking to the park? You're right, Polly. We should be doing something else. Like, um... I think Alice would have done something really special. <gasps> Hopping! We should hop to the park. Yes, I love hopping. It's our big day, Mrs Thimble, and we're hopping to the park. No more hopping, Angelina. All right, Polly. I am a bit puffed out. What else can we do? Um... Let me think. Alice would have done something really exciting. I know what we could do. What? I'll race you to the park. Hooray! Measure me too. Pretty, please. Let's see. You've grown... Mm, just a tiny wee bit. But I want to be tall. Don't worry, you'll get taller. It just takes time. I want to be tall now! <gasps> we're so grown up that we're doing a ballet pantomime of Goldilocks and the two mouselings on our own, without Miss Mimi. Only two mouselings? Yes, Alice is our director. I want to be in Goldilocks. Not yet, Polly. You're too young. You need to be older. Look! I could never reach up here before. Now I can finally put the milk on the top shelf. My little mouseling isn't so little anymore. I'm a big mouseling too. Measure me, I'm getting taller. You're getting stronger, that's for certain. Looks like you're the same height as yesterday, Polly. You're going to grow taller soon, Polly. I promise. But I want to be taller right now! 
And this is Polly's growing music. It goes up higher and higher. Polly hopes the music will make her do the same thing. Go up, up, up. I'm a big mouseling now. Please measure me. <laughs> um, am I a lot taller? Well, actually... <gasps> oh, Polly, you're growing. You just can't tell yet. But I want to be taller now. Polly's still having growing troubles. And now we're having baby mouseling troubles. I say we try Goldilocks and the two mouselings again. It just doesn't work with the music. We need somebody for that super-duper high-pitched music. But nobody could do it, remember? We've been rehearsing forever. Time to get home and do our homework. All right, let's try to work something out tomorrow. Come on, Angelina. Mum is taking us to the library before we go home. Polly, let me see you dance over to the tiny bed. <laughs> now dance back to the side of the stage. <laughs> Stupendous news! I found the perfect baby mouseling. She's much smaller than all of us, and she's been practicing hard and already knows the part. Everyone say hello to my little sister Polly, our new baby mouseling. <laughs> I got to play baby mouseling because I was the only one little enough. You both did a beautiful job. I'm so lucky to have two lovely dancers for daughters. Ow! My feet! They hurt! Maybe you've been dancing too much. Have a seat and finish your dinner. They still hurt. Did anyone step on them? Did you jump on something hard? Let me take a look. What is it? <laughs> it's your shoes. They're too small for you. My feet grew. Wow, my feet grew. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Marco. Hmm? Hi. I was hoping your dad's music shop would be open. He'll be here soon. We're setting up a Father's Day surprise. It's a secret. Ah. Are you doing something for your dad? Not till dinner. I could help you now. Super. A balloon for dad. And how about a streamer here? And his favourite treat there. Yummy carrot pie! Hello! I thought I heard someone. Hello, Mrs Thimble. Oh, my! It looks wonderful in here. Matilda, dear, I could use your advice on my new cheese display. You can go. We'll finish the decorating, Mum. Thank you, Angelina. Be right back. This is fun, Angelina! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the French horn! Oh! oh. <gasps> Whoopsie! Uh-oh! This is not a good Father's Day surprise at all! to put all this sheet music back the way it was. Maybe your dad had it in alphabetical order. A, B, C. Or by the composer. Like Mozart or Mostakovich. Or maybe by types of music.
that's it. Look. See, this pile is jazz. And here is hip-hop. Look, it's Dad. He's here? Already? Where? Here. It's my dad, playing music. Maurice Mouseling's klezmer band. Wow! Dad used to have a klezmer band? No wonder Mr Mouseman wants him to play at the wedding. Dad told us all about klezmer music. I know about it. At my friend Ari's birthday party, there was a klezmer band. Did everyone dance? Oh, yes! We did a folk dance Ari's grandmother learned in Moscow, Russia. Stupendous! In Mauston Europe, a fiddler played to let everyone know it was time to come together. Look, here's a recording of your dad's klezmer music. Oh, let's listen. I love this. All right, we've finished the cheese display. Oh, I know that music. We found this on the organ. I remember dancing to this at a party. It makes me want to dance too. Angelina, when is this carnival of yours? The day after tomorrow. Everyone's coming. It's going to be great! Ah. Oh. Dad, is something wrong? I think you forgot. It's Polly's birthday the day after tomorrow. I did forget. So? Aren't you going to blow out your birthday candles, Polly, darling? Mm. What about your present? Aren't you going to open it? Mm -mm -mm. What's the matter, Polly? It's your birthday. You should be having fun. I can't have any fun. This is the worst birthday ever. <laughs> because Angelina isn't here. the carnival. Oh, I just popped over with a birthday present for Polly. That's really sweet of you. Do you want to come in and give it to her? Mm-hmm. Hi, Vicky. It's my birthday. Yes, it is, Polly. And I've brought you a present. A present? That's right. <sighs> what is it? It's a scepter. The carnival queen has to carry it at the carnival procession. I think Vicky's asking you to be Carnival Queen. But I'm still too little. Well, you can be Carnival Princess then. It seems to be coming to our house. 
And a carnival princess is going to need a carriage. Follow me! Your carriage awaits, Your Highness. for everything. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever! My carnival princess birthday is the best ever! This is our last rehearsal for the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, so give it your all! Of course I will, Miss Mimi. Sugar Plum Fairy music comes from my absolute favourite Christmas ballet, The Nutcracker. Great rehearsal, everyone! Now, don't forget to bring a Christmas treat for the party after the show. I'll be bringing my homemade sugar plums, of course. Oh, great, yes! Yummy! I'll bring biscuits. Oh, and I can bring some cheese. My mum and I are going to make a gingerbread house. Mmm, sounds good. Marco, AJ, do you want to help us bake? Yes, that'll be cool. Good. We just need to pick up the ingredients first. Come on. And a bag of raisins um, and four pints of milk. There, that's everything your mother said she needs. Thank you, Mrs Thimble. You're very welcome. Now, don't spill the milk. Here, help yourself to some candy canes to celebrate Christmas time. Wow! Candy canes are my favourite. Mine too. Mm. 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 Did you know the biggest candy cane ever made was over 58 feet tall? Very cool. I wish this were 58 feet tall. <laughs> I am so lucky to have three excellent helpers today. The gingerbread smells so good. Well, thanks to your hard work, we have a gingerbread house for the party and a batch of gingerbread mouselings to enjoy later. <gasps> Wait, can we have a biscuit right now, please? Pretty please. Super duper extra pretty please. How can I say no to super duper extra pretty please? Enjoy. And good luck at the showcase tonight. Aren't you 
I'm going to have some. What? Oh, aren't you going to have some gingerbread, AJ? It looks really good, but would your mum mind if I have this apple instead? An apple? I try to eat more fruit than sweets, especially before a performance. Hmm. You're really not going to eat that? No. Okay, more for us. Are you going to be a princess? A fairy princess. Actually, a fairy who becomes a princess because I'm the best dancer in the magic forest. Magic forest? Fairy princess? Can I be a prima ballerina too? Sorry, Polly. Only one dancer gets to be the prima ballerina. But maybe when you're big like me, you can be in the corps de ballet. Corps de... Huh? <laughs> corps de ballet. That's what we call the dancers who dance together in a group. So many new words. That's because there are so many different kinds of dancers. Did you know the counting can be fun? Let's begin a song with number one. The numbers two and three come next in line and soon you'll see that the magic has begun. Number four, to move it right along. In the next position in our counting song And then the number five will bring your ballet shoes alive Places everyone for every ballerina Just before they point a toe Must know their numbers One, two, five And with these five positions You'll be ready for the show And your ballet Ballerina, but Gracie has a solo and Alice dances with a partner. How about Vicky? Vicky's not going to dance because she wants to paint the scenery. Like painting pictures? Mm-hmm. Really big pictures. Oh, that's what I want to do. Uh, Dad, are you using your camera on Saturday? No, I don't think so. Great! So could you be there at the marathon to take a photo of Marco when he comes in first? Ah. Oh, come on, please. You are the best photographer in all of Chipping Cheddar. Oh, um, OK. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Stupendous! Look, everyone. I can run like Marco. Could you make some flags for everyone to wave along the route? Please. Thanks, Mum. Excuse me, everyone. I need to go upstairs and work on my cheerleader routine. What's a cheerleader routine? Running hard. He'll go far. Marco, Marco, rah, rah, rah. What are you doing, Angelina? I'm a cheerleader. I'm making up some cheerleader chants for my cheerleader team. Can I be a cheerleader, Angelina? It's not easy, Polly. We have to put on a really good show to support Marco when he runs in the marathon. I can do it, I can do it. All right, Polly. Just copy what I do. Okie dokie. M A R C and O. Marco, Marco, watch him go. Hooray! <sighs> That's hard. Being a cheerleader is hard, Polly. There's dancing and gymnastics, not to mention the chanting. What is chanting? Well, a chant is a bit like a poem and a bit like a song. It rhymes, but instead of singing the words like this, He's amazing, he's a star. You say them to a rhythm, like this. 
He's amazing. He's a star. He's our hero. Rah, rah, rah. Put the chanting with the dancing and you've got yourself a cheer. North and South, East and West. We love Marco. He's the best. Backwards, forwards, up and down. Marco Mouse, the best in town. That's great, Polly. So tomorrow is Lend a Poor Day. It's a day where you help someone out who really needs it. So I want you all to split into groups and find someone you can help out. Yes, Angelina. Some of us could help Mrs Thimble at the store. She's hurt her wrist. Yes, and I heard her say she had lots to do in the shop this weekend. I'll help too. Perfect. That's one very good Lend a Poor project. Now... Oh, 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 sorry I'm late, Miss Mimi. Hmm. Oh, I've been learning about disco dancing. Hmm. Oh, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Where did you hear about disco dancing, Gracie? Oh, I saw it in an old film at the weekend. I love it. It's good that you found a new form of dance, but you mustn't let it get in the way of being on time for school. I was just telling everyone about Lend a Poor Day. Don't worry, Gracie. You can join us. We'll tell you all about it at lunchtime. So, that's the plan. We'll meet at Mrs Thimble's store as soon as it opens. Mrs Thimble is going to be so happy. And maybe we can do some disco, too. Disco music is great. You know it came from jazz and rock. Oh, and Latin music, too. It's got a really strong, steady beat, so it's easy to dance to. Mm, yeah, it's my favourite. Vicky, are you around tomorrow? I think so. Why? I've composed this new tune for string bass and electric bass guitar. That's really different. I know. So I was wondering if you'd come to the lunchtime theatre tomorrow and play along with me and see how it works. Oh, but it's the weekend. Miss Mimi's going to be here, so she said we could use it. That would be great. How about sometime in the morning? Maybe ten? Perfect. Thanks, Vicky. Come on, Vicky. My dad's waiting. Vicky. Hi, Alice. Pretty, please, could you help me? I've got a new recorder tune to learn and I can't get the fingering right. No problem. We could meet up tomorrow morning. Around 11? Oh, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. <laughs> At this rate, you're going to be spending all Saturday helping your friends. I know. Tomorrow is definitely going to be a busy day. So, you know how you love special days? Yes. Well, tomorrow my dad's doing a special day at his shop and it's all about one instrument. It's not! It completely is. It's the electric bass. Oh! Fantastic! So, tomorrow's electric bass day? Dad calls it a special promotion. And he's even got a professional electric bass player coming in. Oh, a professional! Someone who plays music as his job. Yes, he's supposed to be really good. Hi, Dad. I'm here. Oh, is something wrong? That bass player I lined up for tomorrow just cancelled. Oh, no, that'll spoil everything. He was going to talk about the electric bass and show what it can do. It'll be no fun without him, I'm afraid. Maybe I could help. I could play my bass instead. What do you think? <gasps> Dad, listen! Vicky's had a brilliant idea. Really? What is it? I play electric bass and maybe I could play here tomorrow for your special promotion. That is a brilliant idea. Told you. Are you sure you can do it, Vicky? No problem. Mind you, 
There's a lot to do if I'm going to be ready for tomorrow. Don't forget, Dad. I'm helping in the morning. I can come then too. I need to set up my bass guitar before I help Alice and Marco. That'll be wonderful. Thank you both. Now, off you go for your dinners. Are you sure you can do everything tomorrow, Vicky? Of course, Angelina. No problem. Vicky, can you bring those instruments to the back of the shop, please? These are broken. Does your dad fix them himself? I don't think so. No, I have to send them away to a special place to be repaired. Gosh, there are so many jobs in music, aren't there? Mm, that sounds a bit flat. I must get it tuned. Have to tighten or loosen the strings to make the sound higher or lower, like on a guitar. You certainly do. Do you tune it yourself, Mr. Mouseling? Goodness, no. I bring in a piano tuner. That's another music job. But I tune my guitar myself. Well, tuning a piano is a little more complicated because there are so many more strings. Now we're ready to set up for the big promotion. I'll just help a little longer and then I better be off. Go. Maybe she got lost. Or maybe she just doesn't like me anymore. Yes, she does. And she usually gets to places on time, too. Well, I can't wait any longer. If you see her, tell her I waited. Bye, AJ. Bye! Angelina! Angelina! <gasps> oh, no! Oh, I was having a bad dream. I made something for you, Angelina. See? It means friends. Mum helped me make it because I'm your friend too. And I'm your sister. Oh, Polly. Thank you. <gasps> You've given me a great idea. What an idea I had. I realise that you don't need to be with just one friend at a time. The lunch table could be for lots of friends doing lots of things together. Gracie, how about if you put your fashion drawings on the table? But why? Alice, where's the Friendship Forever wand? Here. Wow, look. Gracie, can we all look at your fashion drawings? Well, of course. Wow. These are great! Fantastic! Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! And Vicky, let's show everyone our tap dance! Oh yes! We can join in! <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight! It's shuffle and then shuffle hop step and... <laughs> <laughs> All right, class. Let's remember what we learnt yesterday about a chorus. I know. It's best when everyone sings together. Yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Definitely. Yes. <laughs> someone sure to be the someone next to me. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Someone tried and true, in old times and anew. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Someone with a heart, who's helpful from the start. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Someone really kind, who's never hard to find. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. It's 
just like being with lots of friends. It's the best fun ever. Ah, let's see. The dishes are done, the bin is empty, there's nothing to knit. Whew, I can finally sit down and enjoy some peace and quiet. Ah. Ah. Hi, Mum. Hi, Polly. <laughs> so much for some peace and quiet. I have really big, exciting news. We're having macaroni and cheese for dinner. No, Miss Mimi is getting married. But I love macaroni and cheese. Miss Mimi is getting married? Huh, to whom? Mr Chirpy Face. It's a strange name, but nice. Hmm. I've never heard of him. What does getting married mean? When two people love each other so much they want to spend the rest of their lives together, they get married. Um, like you and Daddy? Yes, dear. So when is Miss Mimi getting married? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why didn't she tell us? She said it was no big deal. But it is, right? Yes, it's a very big deal. I knew it! We need to make sure Miss Mimi has everything she's supposed to have on her wedding day. That's right. Yes! So, what are you supposed to have on your wedding day? Well, she needs a lovely wedding cake. Could we bake one, please? I'm sure she has one. No, she said she didn't have time. Then she'll need flowers, too. I have a flower in my pocket. She can have it. Oh, it broke. I know, I'll glue it. So, a wedding cake, wedding flowers. What else do we need? I know. Let's do a special wedding dance for Miss Mimi. That can be our gift. Let's see. We can start with a padasha, or maybe an arabesque. Oh. <gasps> Remember, Angelina, we need something old, something new, but not something broken. Sorry, Mum. What kind of music do they play at weddings? That might help us sort out what kind of dance to do. They usually play wedding music on an organ. Then we'll do a dance to organ music. Yes! Hooray! What's an organ? It's like a piano, but it makes a different sound. What happens is, organs make music when air whistles through their pipes. So instead of going plink like a piano, they go hmm. <laughs> Organs have foot pedals, like giant piano keys. Both hands, both feet. Playing an organ is a lot of work. <laughs> but where are we going to get an organ? Your father's music shop. He has some organs there. Go and visit him. He'd love that. Thanks, Mum. Bye. I'll start baking the wedding cake. After a few moments of peace and quiet. <laughs> 